you got your first winner when you were 15 years old, a $320 race mare named My Assets. A few Eclipse Awards, a few Breeders' Cups, a Kentucky Derby later, and now you're gonna run Elite Power and Cody's Wish in two grade ones, uh, the Vanderbilt and the uh, Whitney. Did you think, did the young 15-year-old Bill Mott see that coming? Never even imagined being at the races other than any place in the Midwest. I mean, I, I never imagined that I would ever even race a horse at Churchill Downs. I mean, when I was uh, starting out, it was just only a dream. What I remember, the first derby was Proud Clarion when in the derby, which is, was either 1966 or 67. I mean, I was listening to the derby on the radio and never imagined that I'd ever even step foot on the soil at Churchill Downs. And then as years went on, I wound up racing at Churchill Downs. I held a record there for 32 years as having the most wins at Churchill Downs. Speaking of the Kentucky Derby, you're a horse trainer. You sit on airplanes, you sit in Ubers, you're in cars with people and they say, what do you do for a living? You tell them you train horses. The next question they ask you is, have you ever won the Kentucky Derby? Right. Now, <laughs> How do you answer that question? Do you just say yes, or do you explain it to them? Yeah, no, no, I say, yeah, we won it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I won that race. <laughs> That's all that matters. It, yeah, it's all that matters. And it, it took a long time to be able to answer that question in that way, or you'll even get somebody that's asking, you know, have you ever run in the Kentucky Derby or do you, have you ever had a horse for the Kentucky Derby? And now the answer is yes, yes. So it's, uh, comes out a little easier now. The world would be mad at me <coughs> if we didn't talk a little bit about Cigar. What was his favorite race <coughs> that you can remember of all of his races, the one that just, you can watch it now and it still probably gives you goosebumps? I would say the Breeders' Cup Classic when he won in Belmont Park. And Cigar wants to go to the lead, but Jerry Bailey says no. It was 10 in a row for the year. It was the championship race. Cigar! Cigar makes his move, and he sweeps to the lead with a dramatic rush. He just answered all the questions. And here he is, the unconquerable, invincible, unbeatable Cigar! It was really a memorable race. There's not too many cigars in this world, but you're doing all right. You got two of the best older horses in training. We'll start with Elite Power, who'll be running on the Vanderbilt. Very good horse, late developer, didn't break his maiden until he was four years old. He wound up being a champion champion sprinter. You know, we're, we're coming back at six furlongs in the Vanderbilt. And then Cody's Wish is gonna be trying the mile and an eighth, two turns in the Whitney. I don't have any problem with it. I think he's gonna handle it perfectly, but I'll, I'll go to the master here. You never know they're gonna do it until they do it. Well, Bill, we wish you the best of luck this weekend with Elite Power, next weekend with Cody's Wish. Well, we hope everybody holds together, keeping them sound, keeping them happy, keeping them healthy, and, and trying to, to extend them. Thanks, Bill. Good luck. Okay, thank you. Did, um, did us re-ride Dancer's Image as well? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm a rookie. <laughs> <laughs>